Hello there guys, my name is Coast Shadow Dongster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Coast Shadow Review where today it's time to play some pinball and play Spinball Wizard. I've never heard of that game in real life, but okay. Um, this is the Marathon Spinning Coast that opened at 2004 at the Adventureland section uh, of Alton Towers Theme Park, Alton Towers Resort. And uh, this is one of the last main coasters uh, in the part that we have, I haven't done a review of yet. So I cannot wait to do a review of this one. Uh, now, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're gonna have, we're gonna be powering out these videos. We're gonna be powering them out like, you know, I'm losing all my oxygen in my tank i'm powering energy out right now uh so we're going to power these videos out make sure you keep liking commenting subscribing click notification bell so you never miss youtube video we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and half a million views which is unbelievable so thank you very much guys and keep watching over the old videos let's get that view count up and up and up and don't forget you can go over to poll four on the community post now deadline is 23:59 p.m. on Friday this week uh, to get your extra comments and your votes in ready for me to reveal the reaction to your results and the poll responses. I switched it up for this poll uh, so you can go check that out and have a look. And also guys, don't forget you can now watch the videos on IGTV on Instagram. Use the Instagram link in the description at Aaron Chandler Official and you can check them out for yourselves. And for now guys, let's have a look at the facts and stats of this pinball machine known as Spinball Wizard. So of course this is manufactured by Mara Son. It's a spinning coaster that opened on the 27th of March 2004 at a cost of three and a half million pounds, which is not a bad price for a spinning coaster. With a track length of 470 meters, a max track height of 17 meters, a max speed of approximately 61 kilometers an hour, and eight cars with four passengers per car, but of course there is the usual three or two uh, rule uh, on wet days. Obviously you guys remember those days. And um, with a capacity of 970 riders per hour and a duration of 1 minute 15, it's truly a spintastic ride. Having opened, having first opened in 1996, which is the area, not the ride, the area, in 2003, part of Adventureland was transformed into a construction site as work commenced on the resort's latest roller coaster. Galloper's Carousel, which had called the area home since 1997, was moved to Cred Street, now known as the World of David Williams. Of course, that's now the Royal Carousel. Uh, to make way for the first major development in that area in eight years, which was a long, long time. Uh, the ride was completed in January 2004 and the extensive testing procedure began, later revealed to be named as Spinball Wizard, designed by German manufacturer Marison and opened on March 24, 2004. When the resort's long-term development plan was revealed back in 2009, Spinball was marked as a potential ride to be relocated elsewhere in the park. No location or even hints were given, however, with regards to where Spinball could end up. After six years of operation of Spinball Wizard, 2010 was about to bring a whole new life and perspective to the resort's res resident spinning coaster. In fact, you might as well say it was sonically good. Having previously had a deal with video game company Sega for the use of Sonic the Hedgehog in Toyland Tours attraction, the resort struck a new deal for Sonic to become the focus of a brand new spinning coaster of course the current spinning coaster spinball wizard when it saw the transformation of spinball into sonic spinball now the supports uh were repainted to a striking blue color resembling the video gaming world most iconic hedgehog each ride car was given a sticker of a character from the sonic universe and various sound effects and announcements were installed or changed Theming additions were also made, including a statue of Sonic himself just located outside the ride's main plaza, as well as a room in the Alton Towers Hotel being themed to Sonic the Hedgehog. Initially due to end in 2013, the Sonic sponsorship was renewed for a further two years until the end of the 2015 season. When the ride reopened for 2016, all traces of Sonic had been removed and reverted into Spinball Wizard again. New music and announcements were added to the attraction to replace the Sonic-themed ones, which had been placed in there back in 2010. So there we go, that is the Spintastic Spinball Wizard, a brilliant roller coaster, might I just add. Uh, now it's time for my review. Now, Spinball Wizard is, in my opinion, one of the best spinning coasters I've done, probably the best spinning coaster I've done. Um, right up there with Crush's Coaster at Disneyland Resort Paris in the Walt Disney Studios part, which first opened back in 2002. Um, 
so you know spinball whiz is definitely a spintastic ride so i did that and um you know spinball wizard definitely is a ride that stays in my mind for a long while i mean i got to experience that ride just a, a year or two after it o first opened back in 2004 and um you know i wasn't quite tall enough for the opening year um but you know at the age of about six you know spinball wizard was a top ride for me it was a brilliant ride got to experience the original spinball wizard you know in the old classic days of the 2000s at Alton towers and um you know the old classic pinball machine thing was just amazing it was just it was incredible to watch it and to, to see it go round and um you know the the way it sort of twists and turns and the way it goes high and low and goes through all different levels and all kinds of the experience you know fair play to the team at Alton Towers for coming up with such a spin-tastic ride I, I can't stop doing these spin puns um and overall you know I think it was great I think when it changed to Sonic Spinball in 2010 until 20 until the end of 2015 uh, so for that five year spell of Sonic Spinball I liked that theme as well I liked how they used the Sonic theme you know I think Sonic to be fair when I was a young coaster enthusiast I didn't have a YouTube channel but if I did then I'd be probably sat here guessing to you guys what the theme would have been if Spinball was going to get rethemed uh, when, when they made the announcement that Spinball was going to receive a new theme I was like I'll be, I'll be sitting here as a nine year old kid telling you guys um, well, what do you think the theme's going to be? Do you think it's going to be Sonic because they used that for Toyland Tours and things like that? So, I'd be sat here in 2009 if I was doing YouTube then as well, sitting here asking you guys to comment down below what do you think the theme, new theme of Spinball is going to be for 2010 uh, for that three-year period, and then little did I know it was going to be extended for another two years. And, um, you know, the big Sonic, I mean, I've had my photo taken in front of that as a kid numerous times at Alton Towers. Um, that was one of the big things with Sonic for me, just standing next to that massive Sonic. And, um, you know, it was a great thing to have for the coaster. And then when Spinball Wizard got brought back in 2016, that was a great nostalgia move for Alton Towers. And great for me personally, because I liked, I liked both things equally, but I preferred the Spinball thing just over the Sonic thing. Uh, but only by a smidgen, because they were both done brilliantly. Uh, so I didn't mind whatever happened, as long as it wasn't removed, of course. Uh, but I think Spinball was a fantastic thing for the ride. I think that, um, you know, it was a great thing done by Alton Towers. They've done a fantastic thing with this. And, you know, long may this ride continue. I mean, you know, it's been marked for removal or relocation for a long period of time now. Ever since the first long-term development plan, that, that development plan back in 2009 was, you know, out of date by then and, you know, things like that. I mean, to be fair, they have stuck to it in a way because they did mark rides like Submission, the Flume and Ripsaw for removal. And they've removed all three now. Flume for Wicker Man, Submission for a Guard, and, and rips off for a HB Leisure game. Uh, but I'm sure the grass and the HB Leisure thing is just temporary for now. Maybe the Submission Garden, maybe not. But um, Death with a HB Leisure game is definitely a... Uh, temporary replacement for Ripsaw, even though it's been here for about three years. Um, but um, Spinball's removal, I'm going to be very sad about. I think once it goes, I think I'll be really sad about that because I think that um, Spinball's such a legendary ride and I think that, you know, the park, you know, it, it won't be the same without Spinball. I know that's really easy to say on camera, but... Honestly, with the memories I've had on that ride, I don't think Alton Towers is Alton Towers without some kind of spinning coaster like a Spinball Wizard. Uh, like Chessington is without Dragon's Fury, and, you know, Alton Towers isn't Alton Towers without Spinball Wizard. And when the, da when the time finally comes that we have to say goodbye to this pinball machine of doom, um, you know, you can bet your lucky stars are going to be there for the last day, whenever that may be. And, um, you know, Spinball Wizard has definitely been a big part of my childhood, and I'm going to I'm gonna miss it. I'm going to miss it when it goes. So, um, I'm trying to get every kind of opportunity I can to ride it now, because you don't know when your last ride could be your last ride. So, um, there we go. So, that is sharing my thoughts on Spinball Wizard. Thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrilltastic day.